Dear learners, how are you? Uh, so let's start problem number 69 from the book I have written. So in the first sentence, it is written that Jordan's studio apartment is a perfect square. So by this sentence, we can understand Jordan's, uh, Jordan has an apartment which is perfectly square. So for better understanding, I mean for visualization, what we can do is let's um, let's draw the room okay so this is the perfectly squared room now let's uh, let's read next sentence upon entering through the door so we don't know where the door is but we can consider, let's say door is here, or we can consider here, door going to be the reference point in this problem. So uh, it's up to you. You can think anywhere. I mean, you can place the door anywhere and you can draw. It doesn't matter. Finally, you will find the correct answer. So for simplicity, I, I considered the door is placed on the beside the top wall, like here. Let's say this is the door. And let's identify it. if someone enters through the door, then what would be the left side and which side would be the right? So it's easy. This side going to be left side and this side going to be right side. Okay. So until now we find out position of the door, the left side and the right side uh, of the door. Now let's read further. There's a rectangular rug that covers exactly half floor space and lies flat against the far wall opposite the door. Okay, so there is a rectangular rug. So I believe you know what is rectangle, rectangle is. Okay, this could be a rectangle. Uh, th uh, this could be the uh, rectangular rug that we are looking for, but uh, in the questions it is saying that the rug is exactly half of the floor space. So remember this information, and it lies. Uh, it lies flat. This flat means smoothly. It is kept smoothly uh, on the floor against the far wall opposite the door. So this part of the sentence give us the important information. I think most important information we can ex ex extract from this part of the sentence. The against the far wall, opposite the door. So, you know, uh, let's explain what is far wall. So far means something not close, which is further away. So in this case, the wall which is farthest from the door because the door is our uh, reference point so from the door this wall is the farthest farthest so uh, we can now guess the rectangular rug is, is stationed i mean is uh, uh, is skipped against the far wall opposite the door that means closest to the this side i mean uh, this wall so we can draw a we can draw a rectangle then it would be easy to understand so remember our rectangular rug is half of the room so this is our let's say rectangle and we can highlight it so again i'm saying that we are not considering this area because it was saying the rectangular rug is stationed against the wall which is farthest opposite the door therefore it is understandable this this area represents a rectangular rug so let's study next sentence on the left wall there's a bookshelf that spans so spans mean means spread out the entire length, entire length 
of the wall. So we, uh, we locate left side here. Now, let's say this whole area represents a bookshelf, okay? In the last sentence, the kitchenette is located in the corner to the right of the entrance. So this is the right side and kitchenette means kitchen is located in the corner of the right of the entrance. Therefore, it's simple to understand here. So this is our kitchen, okay? Kitchen, rug, and bookshelf. Here is the bookshelf. What we have to find out? Which one, uh, which one of these floor plans corresponds to Jordan's studio apartment? So we, ha we have to study all of these options and we have to find out correct description uh, which represents these floor plans. So first of all, uh, let's start with A. A floor plan showing a square room with a rectangular rug on the top half. Okay, so let's draw again a rectangle for A. A small rectangle we can draw here. Uh, let's draw a true rectangle. Yes, it's a rectangle now. So a floor plan showing a square room with a rectangular rug on the top half. So rectangular rug, I have to adjust my screen for some reasons. Okay. Uh, okay. So this half represents the rectangular rug. A line indicating a bookshelf along the enter right wall. So this right wall is not your right side. Again, I'm saying that when we solve, when we uh, analyze the questions, we reference. I mean, we keep. Uh, we kept the door as a reference point. So what we have to do, we always think accordingly to the door. We always have to think. So enter right row. So right side represents this area. This is, let's say, bookshelf. And this trough represents the rectangular rug. And a square in the bottom left corner, bottom and left corner here, indicating the kitchen. So this is not the correct representation. This is the door here, right? Uh, okay, now I will tell you a clue. In in the in the statement in the problem statement it was saying that rectangular rug uh, is stationed on the bottom side of the room, right? So when reading, I mean by reading the first sentence here, the rectangular rug on the top half, we can simply say this is not the correct answer. From here, rectangular rug on the left half, this is also not the correct answer because we already know rectangular rug positioned lower part or bottom part of the uh, floor. Here also, right half, not the correct answer. This is again on the top. This is also not the right answer. So the right answer is option E, the floor plan a uh, floor plan showing a square room with a rectangular rug on the bottom half, correct. A line indicating a bookshelf along the entire left wall and a square in the top right corner indicating a kitchen. Okay, we'll visualize all these options and it would be clear for you. Options, options A, B, C, D, and E. So uh, only option E represents the correct answer uh, we have already drawn. So for better visualization, you can uh, you can uh, read the options and you can cross 
cross check whether he is right or others are wrong. So uh, here the correct answer. I hope you understood this problem. This problem is uh, uh, super easy. So don't be <laughs> panic in the real exam because uh, in talk exam, usually the problems are not super uh, difficult. Uh, if you practice well at the home, I believe you can do. I, I recommend you at least practice 100 uh, different types of logical problems. So uh, that's enough. Don't be so uh, sticky to, uh, I mean, don't be so worried that you haven't practiced well. What we have to do is you need to find the resources and practice well. So thank you for listening to me and see you again in our next sessions. All the best.